everyone, this is Josh with HostGator. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a new email account through cPanel and how to log into it. So let's get started. Now, one of the things I like most about HostGator's shared hosting plans is that they all come with the ability to create as many email accounts as you want through cPanel. So it doesn't matter if you got a shared hosting plan, cloud, reseller, or dedicated server, you're going to have the same access and ability to create as many email accounts as you want to. So the first thing we're going to do is start out here inside of our cPanel, and I'm going to click on the email tab here on the left-hand side, or I can search email up in the top function search. This is going to take us to the email section, and what I want to do today is first click on email accounts so that we can create a new account and see all the ones that I already have created. The first thing you're going to want to do is choose the domain that you're working on. You'll have a little drop down here with all the domains and subdomains on your account. And all you really need to do is click the one that you want to use. And then we're going to go up here to the email section and we're actually going to give the name of the inbox that we're creating. So for me, I'm going to do Josh and this is going to create Josh at b-radpit.com. The next thing is we'll choose our password. So if you have a secure password on hand that you want to use, you can type it. Or if you want to use a new password, you can do the password generator button, which I really like because it creates a really secure and randomized password for you that you can use. All you need to do is copy this, make sure that you have it stored in a safe place, and then click this checkbox and then click the use password. Now what we're going to do is scroll down to the mailbox quota section. Now this essentially tells cPanel how much disk space you want to use for this individual mail account. Since almost all of our plans come with unmetered disk space, I like to choose the unlimited so that the inbox is never going to be capped or going to lose any emails if I run out of disk space. So once you have everything set, go ahead and click the create account section. You can scroll down and see that the account was created successfully. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we can actually see all of the email accounts that I have on the cPanel. Right here is where it'll show the disk usage that's currently in use. Uh, and so the infinity symbol means I set that one to unlimited. If I want to reset or change the password, I can do that here. And if I want to modify the quota for the account, see either give it more disk space or less, I can change that here. And now I want to show you how you can actually log into the inbox for your account. So we'll click the more tab and click on access webmail. Now this is going to take you to a section where you'll choose the webmail application that you want to log into. And HostGator has three options for you through cPanel, and that is Horde, RoundCube, and SquirrelMail. Now, I would encourage you to choose either Horde or RoundCube because cPanel is going to deprecate SquirrelMail soon, and so it might not be available for very much longer. Now, RoundCube and Horde basically have the same functionality, but they have different layouts and different utilities. My personal favorite is RoundCube, and so you can click here or on Horde to use whichever one you want to. Once you like it, whenever you log back into this section, you can click set as default and it will automatically open you up to that specific webmail application. So let's click on RoundCube. And welcome to your inbox. Once you start getting mail, it will show up here. And you can compose a new email or refresh the inbox to see if you have new mail. You can also create a decent amount of folders and really archive and organize everything here as much as you want to. Uh, but this is basically where you'll manage all the aspects of your mail. Now, there's a few different ways to get to webmail, and I'll show you a few of them now. Now, as I just showed you, you can get inside through the email account section by clicking on the more tab, but let's go back to email. If I ever want to get in really quickly, I can click the email section or scroll down to the email tab and click on the webmail button. And what this is going to do is bring up all of the email accounts that I have for my cPanel. And all I have to do is click on access webmail and it's going to take me right to that inbox. Once again, it's going to ask you if you want to use either one of the applications. I'm going to go ahead and click on set as default for RoundCube so it always opens me up to that one. And here I am back in my inbox. So I've just navigated to a different email account. So this is my info at b radpit and so I can see I've already got an email in this inbox waiting for me. If I want to read it, I can double click it and there's my email. Now I can reply, send back, forward, or do whatever I want to do. Now there's a few other ways to get to webmail and I'll show you how to do that if you don't want to log into your cPanel. So what I'm going to do is actually type in my domain. So b-radpit.com and if I'm using HostGator name servers, all I have to do is type in the domain and then forward slash webmail. And that's going to take me directly to a location where I can log into my inbox directly without actually having to go through cPanel. If you don't have your name server set up to host Gator yet, you can actually use the server name. So that would be your gator dot and then a series of numbers dot And 
you can log in directly to that by either using forward slash webmail or colon 2096, whichever you prefer. But honestly, I like logging into my cPanel either way, and it's a little bit easier just to navigate directly to the email tab and then click on webmail. A really fast way to get you into your inbox. Now, if you're like me and you want to have your mail on your mobile device or a different device, you can actually use some of the settings inside of cPanel to set up a different third-party application. And I'll show you how to do that really quickly. So let's click back on email. Click on email accounts. And I'll scroll down to the email account that I want to set up on my mobile device or a different device. And so what we'll do here is click on set up mail client. And this is going to take me to a new page with a whole bunch of different auto configuration scripts. So if you see the specific application you're trying to log into or connect your device to, you can use any of these options right here. And it's going to give you all of the information necessary to automatically connect. So if I wanted to use Microsoft Outlook 2010, I can click Auto Discovery, and it's gonna give me a good deal of information on exactly what I need to do to set it up to use that Microsoft Outlook 2010. Now, if you don't see yours listed here, that's okay, because you can scroll down to the manual settings and actually take the information that's set here to manually set up your device on your phone or tablet. So it'll be your username, uh, which is the email address, and it'll be the password for that account that you just created. And it'll give you your incoming, outgoing server, and the specified ports that you'll need to use. Now you can either use SSL or non-SSL settings, but it is recommended that you use the SSL settings here in the gray box. And once you have your email account created and set up on a different device, then you can access your email from anywhere in the world using your device, your tablet, laptop, or your phone. So all in all, it's really easy to create as many email accounts as you want to. And cPanel doesn't have a limitation on this and neither does HostGator. So you can set one up for everyone in your family or your business and use email as much as you like on our server. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the box below and subscribe if you want to see more helpful video content. Thanks, y'all.